thank you all so much. This is an amazing view. Give it up for yourselves. So we appreciate our wonderful legislators who are championing. Um, and I would like to share and have the pleasure of working with our after school ambassadors over the last six months. They have been developing uh, their advocacy skills as well as supporting mass on what it looks like to shape Michigan out of school time system. So give it up for China Jackson, Noah Ressinger, Cindy Reed, Raven Askew, Sean McDonald, Charisma Holly, Kalel Garrett, and Kaylee Hammond. Thank you all so much. Now we would like to hear from China Jackson as she shares some remarks about her experience in after school. Hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is China Jackson. I am 13 years old. I attend Dickinson Academy. My after school is STEM Greenhouse. STEM Greenhouse was created by Dr. Kelly Christopher. She created this program with the intent for sharing her love, and, for her love of science with the youth of Grand Rapids. Like many places, going to school sometimes seems unbearable and difficult. STEM is there to help with grade level science and math. This has not only made my PSAT scores increase, but I've also improved on other state testing scores. My leaders, Mr. J. Alfred and Mr. Victor, have set a goal to make sure that you have the skill set to graduate and continue on. I'll forever be grateful for this program, and I would definitely recommend it to any student who is given the opportunity to participate. STEM Greenhouse has given me opportunities that no other after-school program has given me. This includes speaking to the mayor of Grand Rapids at Kids Speak 2024, and now this opportunity to speak in front of you. STEM Greenhouse, or STEM for short, has allowed me to be in news articles and on the TV news. These platforms have allowed me to meet new people, share my thoughts slash ideas, and show that a youth like myself can have an impact at whatever age you are. I'm proud to announce I'm proud to announce I'm going to be making a fourth appearance on Fox 17 News sometime this May. On May 1st, I was given the opportunity to speak at Grand Rapids Community College in front of around 100 people. Before the event, I made a vision board signifying what I wanted to be in the future and things that I have done in the past. After walking off stage, I had over five different people that I didn't know tell me how much of a great job I did. Five minutes later, a GRPS coordinator asked, me, asked to interview me for GRPS.org, our district page. But this speech isn't about me. This speech is to inform you of the great work that STEM Greenhouse is doing for not only me, but for everyone involved. Statistically, in the state of Michigan, there is an 85% chance of non-minority people completing high school. For minorities, there is a 72.5% chance. STEM school is to ensure that everyone has a chance slash opportunity to do something in the field that they want to do. I'm speaking because I would like to thank my leaders, Mr. J and Mr. Victor, for seeing potential in not only me, but all of their students. I could be pretty shy slash timid at first, but when I'm around them, I feel that I could be myself. Dr. Christopher, if I'm going to be honest, I thought you didn't like me at first. But, but after getting to know you, I learned that you have a tough exterior, exterior so that you could teach important lessons to the youth of GRPS. I appreciate you forming this program and serving over 1,000 different students all across six different schools in the Grand Rapids area. You have not only helped me, but have helped all of Grand Rapids. I appreciate your dedication to the young people of Grand Rapids Public Schools. Mr. Marcus, I see you. You have always pushed me to my limits, making me a stronger person overall. I'll forever be thankful to have STEM in my life. You all will have a special place in my heart. But STEM staff aren't the only people who deserve thanks. I would like to say thank you to every single person here. The actions you take every single day are recognized by the accomplishments that you have stemmed from those actions. Please raise your hand if you're over the age of 18. If you have your hand raised, this signifies that you're an adult. You're held to a much higher standard than me at 13. <laughs> you should know what's right and what's wrong. Doing the right thing should always matter at the end of the day, regardless whether you're getting recognized or not. Youths like myself look up to you leaders each and every day. Keep striving for greatness, being kind, appreciate and appreciating your loved ones. My name is China Jackson, and this is my after school story. Woo!